Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we are going to demystify the technology that connects our physical world to the digital one, the Internet of Things. We're breaking down what it is, how it works, and, of course, who the major players are shaping up to be in 2025. So, have you ever really stopped to think about that? It feels kind of like magic, right? Well, the answer isn't magic. It's this sprawling, powerful world of technology called the Internet of Things, or just IoT, and the incredible platforms that make it all happen. Okay, so let's dive right in. Before we can even start talking about the platforms that run the whole show, we need to get crystal clear on what the Internet of Things actually means. At its heart, it's really about giving everyday objects a digital voice. You can think of the sensors as their eyes and ears, and the Internet as their mouth. This lets them report on what's happening around them, anything from the temperature in a room to the physical stress on a bridge. And listen, this is not some far-off, futuristic technology. You are almost certainly interacting with IoT every single day. Your smart home system, your fitness tracker, even the delivery truck that brought you your last package, they are all part of this massive interconnected network. So how does a simple temperature reading from a sensor on a factory floor get turned into a useful business insight on a dashboard halfway across the world? It's a pretty fascinating journey, and it all happens in a few key steps. It all happens in four distinct layers. It kicks off with sensors and actuators, which are out there gathering raw data from the physical world. Next, gateways act like translators, turning that data from analog into a digital format. From there, you get edge computing, which performs a quick initial analysis right on the device for super fast results. And finally, that data gets sent to the cloud for the really heavy lifting. We're talking deep analysis and long-term storage. Now, what's really interesting here is the critical piece that holds all four of those layers together. This is where the IoT platform comes in. It's the missing link. You can think of the platform as the central nervous system for the entire operation. It's the software that takes the raw noise from billions of devices and actually translates it into something a business can understand and act on. It's the essential bridge that takes you from just data to real decisions. And as you can see, these platforms are not all the same. They're not one size fits all. Some specialize in the physical hardware itself. Others focus purely on connectivity or on analyzing the data. And then you have the end-to-end -end platforms that try to do the whole shebang in one package. You know, none of this would be possible on a global scale without the cloud. The cloud gives IoT two superpowers. First, it offers virtually unlimited space to store and process the massive amounts of data these devices generate and second, it gives you the ability to manage all those devices remotely, whether they're in the next room or on a totally different continent. All right, let's get to the main event. Let's take a look at how the biggest names in tech and some really interesting specialized players are tackling this massive opportunity. So as you'd probably expect, the two giants of cloud computing, Amazon and Microsoft, are the dominant forces here. Both of them offer these incredibly deep suites of tools. AWS has its IoT core for device connection, plus free RTOS, which is a super lightweight operating system for small devices. Microsoft counters with its Azure IoT Hub, and their digital twin service is amazing. It lets you create a virtual model of a physical space, like a whole factory, to run simulations. For a lot of companies, the choice really just comes down to which ecosystem they're already bought into. But hey, it's not just about the giants. Salesforce has a really unique angle. Instead of trying to manage every device on Earth, they use IoT data to directly improve customer relationships. Just imagine this. A sensor detects a problem with a machine, and a service ticket is automatically created in their CRM system. That's proactive problem solving, all powered by IoT. Then you have a platform like ThingWorks, which is built specifically for the factory floor. This is Industrial IoT, or IOIoT. It's designed to handle the really tough demands of manufacturing. We're talking predictive maintenance to see when a machine might fail and optimizing the performance of heavy equipment. You know, what's fascinating is just how dynamic this market is. Even massive players like Google and Cisco have retired their original platforms. Now, this doesn't mean they've given up, not at all. It just shows they're changing their strategy. Google is now focusing on partner-led solutions, while Cisco has doubled down on its core strengths in networking and security for industrial use cases. Okay, so with all these options out there, the giants, the specialists, the shifting strategies, how does a business actually choose the right platform for what it needs? A lot of it really comes down to scale. If you're a large global enterprise, you're probably gonna lean on the proven power of an AWS or a Microsoft, but a smaller company, well, you might not need that massive, expensive toolkit. 
You can often find a more focused and usually more cost-effective solution from a specialized provider that does exactly what you need and nothing more. At the end of the day, the best platform is relative. The right choice always comes from answering these key questions. Does it have the technical capabilities you need? Does it play nicely with your existing systems? Is it built for your specific industry? And maybe most importantly, does it align with your company's bigger strategy and, of course, your budget? Ultimately, choosing an IoT platform isn't just a technical decision. It's really about choosing a partner to help you make sense of the world. Because the right platform doesn't just connect your devices. It unlocks the incredible value and all the stories hidden deep inside their data.